In this video, I want to go over the correct way to use background music in your YouTube videos. Now I emphasize correct way because there is an incorrect way to use background music. Background music basically creates the mood or sets a vibe and it basically needs to be quiet. Now if you look at my older videos, I'm really really guilty of this. The background music is just way too loud. Like I said before, it creates a mood, creates a vibe, and if it overshadows the voiceover with the person talking in the video, it just does not match well. The background music needs to be quiet, but it can't be too quiet that you don't hear it. On the other hand, it can't be too loud where it overshadows the person talking. Now I use Epidemic Sound for all of my background music. Epidemic Sound is basically a music licensing um, website, which basically any music on the website, uh, as long as I have the $15 a month subscription, is copyright free and I can use it on all of my social media accounts without worrying about copyright strikes or videos being taken down. And the most popular background music tends to be old school hip hop beats such as lo-fi and chill beats tends to be the most popular types of background music. Now I want to show you how to actually import it into your timeline and edit it so it sounds pretty good, especially if you've never uh, messed with audio before, this isn't one of your first times using Final Cut Pro 10. And basically how editing works is this middle part is a video, on top of it is called overlay, so text, images, and videos, and below it is the background music and sound effects. So this is the background music that I use as from Epidemic Sound. All you want to do is just drag the background music underneath your video. And that's and if you have sound effects, you also want to drag it underneath your video. Now, step number two is you want to match the um, background music with your video. So for example, as you can see right here, it matches, it starts exactly when the video starts. However, it does, however, it ends when there's still more of the video left, and I'll show you how to fix that. But for example, if the video ended right here, you want the background music to line up with the end of the video. Um, that's just normal. I mean, you could cut the background music out 15 seconds before the video ends, but I don't think that's recommended. So after the, you've imported the music into your timeline and you've cut the music so it lines up with the video, now you want to fade in and fade out the music. So I'm just pressing Command Plus and you want to hover over the background music until you see this icon right here. This is called Fade In. So I'm fading in the music. So when you're watching the video, it's, it starts exactly when the video starts, but the music is slowly fading in. You don't want the music to just abruptly start. You want the music to fade in. Now, on the on the opposite, I'm going to go ahead um, and zoom out a little bit, go to the end and show you how to fade out, but that's not what I'm going to be doing right now. I'll show you, uh, there's a couple of things I'm going to have to do first. But as you can see right here, this is how you fade out the audio. But you don't want to do that in this instance because there's still like three minutes of the video um, left. So you don't want to fade out the music just yet. So you may be asking yourself, okay, so what do you do um, with the rest of the rest of the video? Well, what I like to do is I duplicate the background music. Now what you want to do, and it's why a lot of times I recommend using old school hip hop or beats, is because the, the tempo or whatever is going to be pretty consistent. So here's how, you do, here's how you do it, and I'll try to explain it the best I can. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the video, and as you can see, I'm looking at the waveforms. So what I want to do is I want to, when I drag um, another another background music, and it's going to be the same background music, I want to line it up exactly where it ends. That way it's very, very difficult to hear when the music actually ends. So I'm just dragging the music. You could, I mean, like fade in the music and fade out the music, but it's going to sound really weird. So, okay, so that's what the waveform looks like right here. So let's take the clip and drag it right there. As you can see, go ahead and match it up. Make sure it lines up perfectly. And as you can see, I mean, it's definitely a little bit of a difference, but for the most part, the waveform is pretty consistent. It'll get a little quiet there, but as you can see right there, it, there's no like peaking or anything like that. The waveform is pretty consistent. So what I want to do here is go to the second one, go all the way to the second um, um, background music that I used and do the exact same thing. Drag the clip and to put it right here. Now as you can see, there we go. Now, after you're done, zoom out, and what you want to do is you want to Command C, copy it, head over to here, Command V, and you want to paste it. And there we go. 
now the background music is very consistent and now this is exactly the same as this and exactly the same as this and like i said before as you saw i matched i matched up the waveform so it's very it's, it's very subtle when the music changes and you have to listen really closely um you have to listen really closely to really notice it now i'm going to go ahead and just edit this like a normal video i believe um, this is compound clip voiceover. So yeah, this is actually this actually was a video. So I'll go ahead, see if I can get rid of this. If I can't, um, I'll try to put this in um, right here. There we go. So this is the outro that I use, and I'll make it as long as I normally make it, so like 21 seconds. So what you want to do is, like I said before, you want to cut it. So exactly when the video ends, there we go. I've cut it out. So as you can see, the background music is it's imported, it's duplicated, and it fits the entire video. So it starts when the video starts and ends um, when the video ends. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and select all of the music, head over here to the audio section, and I think universally it's about like 30, negative 30, negative 32 decibels is usually sometimes like the most recommended volume for background music. Now a couple of things you could look at is you could go over here, and usually the background music needs to be between negative 12 and negative 20, tends to be the uh, universal for, universal formula for background music, but negative, negative, um, negative 32 decibels negative I would say I would say between negative 31 and negative 35 decibels is normal um, for background music so let's go ahead and zoom in and what you want to do right here as you can see it's faded in the music is faded in right there and then what you want to do is you want to head all the way to the end and you want to fade out the music so there you go the music fades out as the video ends now here's a couple of tricks that I do you can also do this you could press the command B tool and you could also fade out the, the, the music this is how I edit my videos I fade out the music here and then I fade in the music here and then I turn up the volume for my outro that way when I'm playing when I'm uh, doing the voiceover the volume stays about the same as just about, about just as I'm about to say see you guys in the next one Peace the music fades out it fades in um, To the outro music for the outro of my video and that's how I do you want to do this see so fade in and Fade out the audio you want to wait for this icon as you can see on screen right there and There you go. That's how you um, Put your background you put background music in all your YouTube videos um, so the first thing you want to do is import the background music underneath your video. You want to cut up the video, so it, uh, cut up the music so it matches up um, with the video. And you want to fade in, so fade out the music. And you want to over here fade in the music, so the music kind of gradually comes in. Turn, turn the volume down to about negative 32 decibels. And for background music, you want to duplicate the music so it fills up the entire voiceover. And as I showed before, you want to make sure that the waveform um, match up pretty consistently. You don't want the music to just cut out and stop and then start all over again. That's going to sound really, really um, weird. So that's basically the bottom line of how you um, put background music in. Now I want to go over a couple uh, mistakes. You don't want your background music to be too loud. So as you can hear right now, the background music is way too loud. You can't even hear what I'm talking about. You also don't want it too quiet because then there's absolutely no point in having background music. Um, you also don't want the wrong song. So if I put in some like piped up um, sports music, just some really piped up house music, it's just not going to sound good because that's the mood. The mood is very chill beats. That tends to be my mood. I don't talk super fast or super, uh, or super slow. It's just kind of like a chill vibe. As well as don't use music with the lyrics because you don't want to be competing with your voice and the, music, the, the singer's voice. The, the audience is going to have a hard time trying to different, differentiate which voice they want to listen to. Do they want to listen to your voice or the person's voice in the music? In the background music that you're using anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you found it helpful if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment if there is something that was a little confusing you don't quite understand go ahead and comment down below and i'll try to answer your question anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm giving away a google home mini once i reach 1000 subscribers new final cut pro 10 tutorials every single day see you guys in the next one peace